Yo, 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 welcome to Nerve Flow Podcast. This is issue 153 of Nerve Flow Podcast. We are back again on Twitch. Uh, it's been a week, man. It's been it's been a week. Uh, PS5 stuff, which that shit's a mess. <laughs> um, that was the yeah. whole shit storm. <laughs> <laughs> it did up. Like it just fit into what twenty twenty is. Like twenty twenty has been an entire shit storm. Like twenty twenty shit storm is worse than Katrina. So we gonna yeah, we gonna we gonna get into we gonna get into all of that. Uh, but first and foremost, do the housekeeping stuff, man. This is Press Play Network um, podcast. Also check out other shows like Hip Hop Rejects, uh, Three Kings, uh, bonus shows, after credits. Uh, all into wrestling and some of the shows uh, am, uh anime i'm about to say amazon rundown i don't know what show that is but anime rundown uh that's so good that's so good order today chasing after some monkeys or something with this. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah man so we got that popping off we also got a uh, twitter instagram uh, and Facebook, you can search Nerdflow and Nerdflow podcast uh like subscribe follow on all those different platforms whatever you prefer you mess with we also got a, a dope uh, community that we got popping off on Facebook as well. So if you guys, you can, you know, discuss with like-minded nerds, geeks, all that good stuff in there. We also post a lot of the uh, the previous recordings of the shows that be in there. You also get news and all that stuff uh, from the Nerdflow uh, official account in that group as well. So if you just want to stay, you know, well informed about what's going on in any type of fandom or pop culture, you got that too. And uh, yeah, man, we got t-shirts, uh, Teespring, uh, use NF2020, check out, save yourself 50% on Nerdflow t-shirts, and we got superhero stuff popping off as well, so if you go over there, there's a link in the description of the show, whether it be on the About in our Twitch channel, you can look at that as well, and in addition to that, or if any of the uh, platforms you listen to us on, so we're on all major platforms, as you can see below, so we're on all those platforms, so... <laughs> Check us out. Yeah, that, wanna... Amazon just started doing po- podcasts on Amazon Music, so we need to jump on that too. Their thing is um, not, their thing and may is not I say, yet, and I'm waiting on Pandora. Hurry up, Pandora. Mm. Okay. And may I say, dude, I'm excited for 2021 because we're going to have a lot of new stuff popping off in 2021. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm excited for those productions to get started. Just giving y'all a, a look out like, Press Play Media Group, Press Play Network Media Group is will be giving you new content and we will be dropping new shows in 2021. So yes, you're sir. gonna be seeing a lot more of us people. Yes, sir. Uh let's see, man. Um dang, we got some new followers. Okay, I did not notice that number went up. Oh, uh, okay. Uh let's do that first. What's up, everybody? Uh, we got uh let me see where I'm at. Hold on. Let me see. See if I can remember the last name, which I doubt I can, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Uh, I just run down the list. Man, I'm gonna <laughs> run down 72 names. You got me bumped, bro. You know what I'm Whoa! <laughs> 72. <laughs> uh, Lonzi Guap. Uh, thank you for the follow. We got uh Joel Linger. I'm probably gonna butcher the hell out of this name. Forgive me. Um, we apologize Fing- in advance. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fendrix 28 for the follow. We got uh Raphael Quay Quay. I don't know, but yeah, we got that. Um, what you call it does hate me right now because it would not let me freaking stroll. Let's see here. Did you just say stroll or did you try to say scroll? I tried to say scroll, <laughs> but it didn't, it didn't work out that way. <laughs> don't judge my English, okay? Ooh, Leave me alone. <laughs> we are from Mississippi, bro. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> scro- scrollberry is a word from where we from. <laughs> Mm. Hell no, nah, that is not a word. The word is, <laughs> like that, word that, is... that, that, like if, that is a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> like saying "scrawberry," uh, "scrawberry," scroll, scroll. like scroll. it is. I made myself learn how to say statistics <gasps> the right way because it used to bother me that I couldn't really say statistics. <laughs> like I used to always stutter saying it, and I had to practice and make myself say the word right. Cause I would just I, really <laughs> just say stats just huh? to finish, just so I would have to say the whole word. <laughs> right, I got the self development come to mind that I can't pronounce. I got the rest I of the new followers. I have a problem <laughs> with German words like 
Shulatskis. 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 Put some more spit in it. <laughs> oh, you gotta put a little bit more spit in your throat. Shulatskis. <laughs> Juicy mouth. Also known as also known as expensive ass subs. But no reason. But no reason. But no reason at all. You ain't even that good to be that high. <laughs> Like, how you hired the <laughs> firehouse and Jimmy John? <laughs> you quiz like, those like, they don't need this no more. <laughs> wow. That little now, quiz nose monster turn over in his grave right now. Like, like, real talk, though, <laughs> like, like, Tink and vouch for this. I don't know what it was, but the quiz nose on, on USM campus was just Man, fire. I, you know what? I lost so much weight by just eating those subs, like, in the salads and the soup. Oh, yes. Man. And like Queens Queens knows the, on the campus with the traditional that tra the traditional was my all time favorite sandwich. But this is when I messed up with Queens knows when they came out with the uh the 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 French honey chicken club. Yeah, you... It went downhill for me being <laughs> the names that they add what? to the sandwich the awesome. dressing with the worst the stomach is gonna be. Chicken. True. They name it the uh, honey, the honey chipotle chicken Southwest Club chicken. When they start adding all them damn names, you know your stomach about to be messed up. You can't <laughs> add all them names to a sandwich. <laughs> sweet and spicy at the same time. Why? Uh, hey. right. The sweet and spicy, and they always add Southwest in it, like that's supposed to add something. Ooh, the Southwest sweet and spicy honey chipotle chicken. Set so, like God, come on, names, bro. You'd be surprised. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something though, bro. Like, me a like chicken sandwich, talk, goddamn. All right. Like to me, the best sub place on earth is Lenny Subs. Yeah. And I got somebody threw a bag of like, chips at me at Lenny Subs. Uh, Lenny Subs. What you like, do? Once you go, they I didn't do, do nothing to do. I guess he was mad that I had to make. He had to make my sandwich. Maybe I'm forceful with my sandwich order. I don't know. But he threw a bag of chips Are at me. So, <laughs> hey, like real <laughs> talk. Once you go above, anybody asks like, you to be a sandwich artist, get another job. Then <laughs> I ain't my. I didn't make you work here. Make my sandwich the way I want to. <laughs> but yeah. Hey, but real talk, sandwich bro, artist. Throw the chips. Throw the chips. <laughs> like, like real talk. Once you go, like if you've been eating Subway, and once you taste like Jimmy John's or Lenny's or Quiznos or something like that, Jersey Mike Subway is. is even beneath the sandwich you make at home. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so true. <laughs> oh, that's saying a lot. I w I went to Blimpy's one time. I was working at this call center, and I went to Blimpy's, and I seen the one little single roach rolling up, just walking up the wall, and I walk right out. I was like, I'll never go. I don't care if yeah, you're yeah, fran Blimpy's if it's just trash, franchised yeah. out. If something happens at one, I'm like the whole franchise. Everything is bad. Blimpy's just got roaches. It was at one Blimpy's, yeah. but I'm like, nope. Every Blimpy's got roaches. Sorry. So I'm you not, can't, you can't point, unsee I feel it. Like, I can't unsee like, it. <laughs> like at this point, I feel like every Ichiban restaurant will kill me. See? Like, that's oh. just how, I'm the same way. I feel like if you got Ichiban in your name, you're going to try to kill me. Exactly. <laughs> so, can't do nah, it. that means we can't All take right. you to the buffets no more. We can't. Oh. I don't eat. You know what? I don't eat buffets no more regardless. Like, I, I remember, like, I was in high school. No, was it high school when um, Golden Corral came out with the chocolate fountain? Or whatever oh, it was. you told us that story. And I saw oh, man. Rats, like, yeah. you just going and dipping their fingers in the chocolate. And then I saw grown people, like, coughing over food and stuff, or, you know, just rubbing their finger down the side of the buffet tray trying to taste <laughs> what, like, stuff tastes like. And I was just like, yeah, I'm pretty much done with buffet. Like, if you don't have a menu where my food can be cooked and brought to me, I'm not going there. Yeah. Gotcha. Like, I will go to the <laughs> casino buffet, but, like, the only thing I'm going to get at the casino buffet is crab legs. Crab legs. Like, I'm not going nowhere with people fixing their own food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he ruined it for It's you. slow for the Pope. I love Golden Corral though. And those rolls. Uh, I'd rather go to Ryan's. I'd rather go to Ryan's or Texas Roll ah, House. I'm gonna say order them, a dozen them, rolls. Let me say, bro, them Texas Roll House rolls. Give me the butter. Is... <laughs> <laughs>
Or them churches, honey butter, che- or them honey butter With that apple cinnamon butter. No, no, lob- real lobster, cheddar biscuits. Oof. All right, let's not get on all that. Come cheddar on, biscuits, baby. Okay, one more thing. All right, one more thing. RTX cars, PS5, we let's go. go hey, just tell me what y'all think it is. Like, tell me what y'all think it is. We need a food I'll... episode. We need a food podcast. <laughs> tell me what y'all think it is, though. I got this bomb-ass idea. At least I think it's a bomb-ass idea. So, be what bomb. I'm going to do, like, I remember, y'all remember when Red Lobster had the Lobster Pop Pie? And, like, they did that for, like, one season. And, yeah. like, that jump was, like, they did it. It was, like, fire because the crust was, like, the cheddar biscuit. Crust Ooh. for the Pop Pie was Ooh. the cheddar biscuit. So, Come on, wait what I'm going, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make a seafood a pot pie. You know, you can go to Walmart and get the cheddar biscuit, you know, mixed. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to get the red lobster cheddar biscuit mix, add me some, you know, extra shredded cheddar to it, par bake it, make me a seafood mix with shrimp, crab meat, some lobster meat, maybe some chopped up scallops. And some crawfish, and you know, make a and, and mix it with some uh, clam chowder. Mix it with some clam chowder to make like the 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 base of the pot pie, mm-hmm. and chop up some vegetables like some onions, some scallions, you know, some carrots mm-hmm. and stuff in there. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, put a get a, a, a biscuit crust at the top, mm-hmm. and then bake it and pull it out, mm-hmm. and show y'all how. Motherfucking ingenious. Ooh. That's your boy. When you, you said that, I was making the face out. like somebody was playing a fire beat or something. You know how you get that face? You, you, playing you a just beat hyping, like, them, hyping them mm, up. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That's how that meal sound. <laughs> <laughs> that's on like fire. Went, this man spitting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mm. What? Like, that that bars. Mm. Uh, bars. <laughs> bars. <laughs> I'm in the valley mm. of the hyenas. Wait, mm. houseway. House. Wait, 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 bring that back. Bring that back. Mm. Dylan, 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 Stop, Dylan. y'all making me say that. Oh, yeah. oh, that's all good shit, though. <laughs> let's be hot fire. All right, let's get to these topics. <laughs> all right, man. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Um, even though it's at the top of the list, I'm going to say that's going to be literally the last topic because there's so much to discuss about the PS5. Uh, uh, let's talk about uh, the end of an era, man. So the end of the Marvel Netflix era is upon us. Um, and so there's been rumors uh, swirling around. That, that era made... didn't even. Yeah, but I'm talking about like, contra- I'm, talking, I'm, 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 talking about, I'm talking about contract wise. So they, I mean, they had the, they had the shows for 10 years. And so Marvel MCU, they couldn't really do anything with the characters per se. Um, and so now there's been rumors swirling around. They may be recasting a lot of the characters, a lot of those main characters, uh, or potentially bringing some characters forward into the uh, phase for the MCU. Um, All right, know, so you can get rid of old boy that was Dragon Fist. Iron but Fist is probably the only one. Iron Fist? Page. Iron Fist is probably the only one that needs to be recast. I feel. Yeah. Keep Luke Cage, because if you don't, I'm a I, my bad. I said Dragon Fist. I meant Iron Fist. Yeah. My bad. Blame it on know? Jack. Get your Dragon Ball. That's <laughs> 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 what you thinking about. <laughs> He's like, what you think about? Uh, but it's yeah, the Paper Mario. <laughs> Paper Mario. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a new running joke. You old Paper Mario playing that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but so so yeah so yeah they're thinking about recasting uh john berthal is what i heard is a room which they don't need to recast him and he was like the perfect punisher um yeah luke cage there's been rumors about him um and then what's the well what's, what's the old boy's name that plays daredevil what's his name what's his, uh, name? What's his real life name? uh Charlie, That's when you break out Google. Charlie. Ben Affleck. No, I'm joking. Charlie Cox. There we go. <laughs> Charlie Cox. There we go. Charlie. Yeah. So there's Ooh, been rumors. Well, with him is well, with him has been kind of like, yes, he might still be in it. He might not still be in it. So we don't really even really know. Is it, is it up to Marvel? He tomorrow? was actually a better. He tomorrow. was a better, a way better Matt Murdock and you know, Daredevil than Ben Affleck. Like. I'm assuming they're probably keeping like Jessica. I'm assuming they're keeping the Jessica Jones. 
Because old girl is just like the Jones. Ben keep, is a keep Mike is there, though. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you know what? I can't remember. Keep all, keep all of them, and just rewrite it. Yeah, there you go. The same. It really, rewrite it. Really, it. it. Keep it really everybody the same and just rewrite it. Because I can't see nobody else. I don't want to. Yeah, I just need them to bring Bushmaster back. I like Bushmaster was like, like the coolest villain for Luke Cage ever. You know, you know the funny like, thing. You know the funny thing about that season. I talked to so many people about like Luke Cage, and everybody always says, "You see," I always say like, "I'll try to mention reference something." Like, have you seen season? Two? No, I haven't watched season two. I only watched season one. We over Diamond back. We're not bringing Diamond back. Oh, no more. Come, no. come out, come out, die, bro. He ain't come back. He blame like, now. Come and <laughs> mouth dead. But like Bushmaster was a way better. Diamond back. The other one. Oh, the brother. Yeah. 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 But still though, like he Bushmaster was the dude. He had one line that just killed the whole. That that just solidified everything. He said they call him Bushmaster. The oh, stone the building refused. <laughs> And that just that ended it. Like <laughs> Luke Cage was on his back. I was a like I was rooting for Bushmaster behind it. Shoot, man. And then freaking uh, what's her name? Uh, Stokes. Mar- Stokes. Yeah, Stokes. 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 <laughs> oh yeah, like they were supposed to be doing the um the she show became- with her and old girl from um Iron Fist and um. Oh yeah, that's right. We were supposed to get a. Uh... Was Dragon of the what is it? What are they? What are uh, they called? Sisters of the Dragon, I think, is what it's called. Yeah, yeah they were supposed to be getting the show. Mariah they were supposed to get... So was uh Hero for Hire? Misty, that was her name. A, uh, not Mariah. So, they kind of like they kind of like backdoor. Mariah Stokes was the the was the the bad lady. The, right. The yeah. re- Detective name Black, was Black Misty. Mariah. Misty. Misty Knight. Misty Knight. Mm. Yeah, Misty Knight. Um. But yeah, man, so it's like, I'm wondering, so it's like, I really don't want those characters recast. I mean, there's some people, of course, that are in there, like, as far as from, especially from a villain standpoint, like, uh, what's his name from Law and Order that plays uh, Kingpin? He already said he's down to be Kingpin in the MCU if they need uh, to cast oh, yeah. Kingpin. Vincent? So mm-hmm. Yes. I love me some Vincent. And when you got somebody that's down to, you know, to continue with the role rephrase. and yeah, rephrase the role. Yeah, hopefully they do, man. Cause I mean, like I said, these shows can be instantly be dumped on to and that's the thing, I don't know if they're gonna be dumped. They're probably not gonna be dumped on Disney Plus because they're more a little bit more mature. They're probably gonna be dumped onto Hulu, more than likely. Because that's that's what well, they said. That, remember that's what, said, remember said what I said about um uh, I mentioned uh sometime when we were recording, uh that Disney was supposed to be doing something with the adult con content yeah. Yeah. like they're trying to bring deadpool right so yeah they're, they're supposed to be making it to where you have to put in like a pen to watch the adult content so they could do the same but i think they might be going with the route by putting uh things with fx yeah they put it on fx they as still... far as from a streaming service they're putting it on they're putting it on hulu because oh, yeah. all the because all the fx shows are because before fx shows like atlanta and legion and all that stuff was like you could see only certain episodes but like as a recent they've actually added the full i saw an advertiser i watched a lot of hulu and they actually added that the show the full shows are available now on through hulu so mm-hmm. because they bought because they bought fox it's fully they made it fully available so i got i got one question though mm-hmm. i well, it's not a question i really want them to bring back cloak and dagger is there do y'all see that coming back in the future? Uh, How was I mean, the ratings on that? That's the question. I never did watch like not one episode of that, so I, I watched either. maybe I wanted to get into it. Three but... episodes. Yeah. I but I like how they cameoed in uh, you know, the runaways. And that's why I was like, maybe there oh. there will be hope. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did cameo the runaways in that last season that they did. Um it's hard to say. I mean, they could because those shows are not like they could be on Disney Plus because I don't think they're too mature to be just put on Hulu. They're not, you know, they're not like Luke Cage and stuff like that with, you know, all his uh, or Daredevil, ma- all, coffee. His, all, <laughs> all his coffee making and stuff. So they, they, they got none of that going on. But that ain't um, that ain't nothing. <laughs> so I mean, I mean, but like, I mean, as far as did, well, I mean, Disney did get away with one 
And, you know, even though it was with lions, you know, they got away with that. In the Lion King cartoon with Simba and Nala in the bushes. They got away with that one. How cool on my time. We should, we should, uh, wait, wait, can you feel the love tonight playing in the background? Yeah. And Nala should, putting uh, that little smile time. on her face. Okay, they we, got away with that one. Okay, we got to do, okay, just do we just prepper for like a future show? We got to do a show of uh, conspiracy of what like certain movies meant or what the it's like some some have like underlying meaning so like for example up nick coons got away with a whole lot up. in the early 90s hold yes. on you said up right <laughs> uh, yeah, up has a has a has a hidden meaning that what you call it that was the boy scout was his guardian angel and he died when his wife died and it was just his guardian angel he's his guard and him trying taking to get him, the badges taking is, him to the paradise of yeah where taking, he taking, to be. taking him to heaven and him getting trying to get his bad was basically an angel trying to get his wings I was well, like, I, I found out one about the Smurfs that I don't want to uh, bring up. You know what? I'm not. Nope. No, don't do that. I don't want. I, don't I mean, like, like, with are you afraid of the dark? Like, are you afraid oh, yeah. of the dark? Like the, the that one behind it was like everybody in the midnight society was already dead. You said that like two episodes ago. That kind of like struck me. I'm like, wait, hold on. I ain't think about that. <laughs> and now I got to go back and right. watch it. Over. I know. This was like. It. Um, like we real talk, like I went out, I went and watched some of the old Are You Afraid of the Dark and like R.L. Stein's, you know, the uh, the Goosebump show, mm-hmm. and like they really trash, but <laughs> for the time and being the age that we were, yeah. Yeah. like they, I, I can understand how we would be spooked out about it, but <laughs> one Goosebump, one. It it will stand the test of time, and that's the one. in that book, like the books, are all good. But as far as the show, the one about the dummy, I forget the dummy's name. But that one gonna always stand the time test of time simply because of shows of movies like Annabelle. Is it slapping? Chucky, or like that? Pinocchio, like the the horror movie Pinocchio, stuff like that. Like the anything when an inanimate object like a dummy comes to life and is mischievous or killing people that's gonna stand the test of time i don't care how trash it is that's but true. y'all remember tales from the hood the little the little dog bro, came to life like, bro that, that was scary me. as hell bro, that creased me out so bad that's the one oh time my god i will not watch in that, <laughs> that <government's> house <laughs> yeah that was scary dog I remember Nothing that one. Nobody right from the hood. Wasn't nobody Nothing is scary about Tales from the Hood. Nothing. Them little dogs. That's a whole comedic movie. <laughs> bro, them, them little, little dogs. Gary, I don't care what you say. Awesome. When I was six or eight, I, I, know what I was. was not impressed with the sequel, though. I was not impressed with the sequel, though. Like, they no, could have no, did better. I still no. haven't yet seen this. When I heard there was a sequel, I was like, nah, we good. <clears throat> we ain't gonna yeah, need to do it like that. Yo, they don't hold up. It don't hold up like that first one. It just doesn't. Speaking of that, y'all, like we need to we need to talk to Jordan Peele. Like they released the movies. You could have just like just did the digital yes. candy man. Oh no, yeah. he just like he just like holding that movie to himself, like when it gets right, then I'm gonna drop it. And I don't I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Huh? I mean <laughs> <Let> him... <laughs> there is a lot of movies doing that. Like Ghostbusters was supposed to be out in July. Yep. They're <clears> waiting till yeah. next July. I really like, want to see that movie, man. Jordan Peele wanna... sitting back like I'm gonna just let this marinate. <laughs> we got the new, we got the new Saw movie that was supposed to be coming out as well. So they holding that with uh, Chris Rock. So it's like, who's gonna watch um, Antebellum though? I'm ready for that. I mean, I'm, I'm I've been, I've been tr- like, it's out. I've been trying to, I've been trying. Like, I just don't want to pay for it on pay per view. I really don't want to pay. I for can it. watch it's it. Twenty dollars, y'all. Twenty dollars to go view. Watch it on my plates. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but, <you know. laughs> uh, all right. Uh, she Hulk. So She Hulk got casted. Um, what day was this? I think it was like Wednesday, Thursday. It was something I was like gonna say something. like Wednesday or something like. It was like that. it was like Wednesday or Thursday or something like that. Um, the young lady, she's Canadian. I looked at her IMDb. Nothing. I mean, nothing that she has has been. I would say. Like just stuck out Stand to me. It's like, yeah, the standout is like a like a, a key TV show that everybody that was super popular. So she's had like a lot of like you know smaller. It was like TV shows that weren't very noteworthy. I'll, I'll put it that way. Um, but I mean, as far as how she looks, I mean, 
she can pass as the part. I mean, she's the first She-Hulk, so I mean, we can't. There's nothing to really expect from her other than she's going to be coached by, you know, Team Kevin Feige. So I mean, we're we're. I mean, most of the time, we haven't you know had. What? I haven't had a good same way, kind of like. I can see her as. A I felt the same way about Brie Lawson at first. Like I didn't feel like Brie Lawson had the build to be Captain Marvel. But then once you seen her in the suit and everything, it was yeah. like a different vibe. Yeah. But like yeah. just seeing Brie Lawson as, you know, in her regular self, like I really don't see Captain Marvel. Yeah. Who is Brie Lawson? Captain Marvel. And it's why? Brie Larson. why <laughs> uh, <laughs> he keeps saying Brie Lawson. It's Brie Larson, bro. You think about Jennifer. That's Jennifer. That Mississippi in you. <laughs> At least I ain't say scroll. That's like calling Jennifer Hudson Jennifer Hudson. Like scroll. Super scroll. <laughs> Brie Lawson. <laughs> uh but yeah, man. So uh so we got that casting. Uh like I said, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a Disney Plus TV show, so I'm pretty sure that's probably gonna be pegged for uh, if she's cast, it's probably gonna be a twenty. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing like a twenty twenty two Disney Plus show. They're gonna go get Lou Ferrigno to play the Hulk. You know he's gonna make a cameo. That boy, yeah. that that boy is like freaking. Um, who? What's somebody that always makes cameos? No matter. I forgot who it is. Uh, but yeah, you know he's gonna make a like, cameo. Really Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Somehow, some way. Yeah, I really didn't catch <laughs> the Lou Ferrigno reference, did he? Was I supposed to? Lou Ferrigno, the original Hulk in the TV original show. Hulk? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what know, I'm saying. He always okay. makes a cameo in a lot of in all the Hulk stuff. Oh, I I ain't really paid attention. Oh, I'm like, I literally said this. Like, what do you mean I didn't get your reference? I know who he is. Um then we got um DC Universe. So really probably as of yesterday, because Batman Day was yesterday. So as of mm-hmm. yesterday, really? DC, Universe, DC Universe hit its and year. You ain't, break no, you, ain't, you ain't post no Batman trashing. I, I was I was busy yesterday, <laughs> and plus I didn't feel like trolling yesterday. Still, let me rephrase that. I didn't feel like trolling you yesterday, but it's okay. Y'all gonna y'all gonna stop disrespecting? <laughs> no, you right? ain't feel like trolling angry B guy. <laughs> <laughs> he the one that got the chat to say he ain't gonna tolerate no more Batman disrespect. <laughs> Well, I'm excited for that movie. <laughs> since, since you say that, I'm gonna put something later on. <laughs> um, no, I don't didn't, tolerate didn't the director of the Batman directs that movie Seven with Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman? Freeman? I think so. I, I think Matt Reeves was a uh, was the director for uh, like uh, what is the uh, one about all the different sins? Seven yeah, well, it was a serial yeah. killer killing yeah. uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, in conjunction with the Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah, that movie was messed up. I just want to say, by the way, the ending, of oh, bruh. Yeah. It's in the box. But I love that movie. It's in the box. I love that movie, though. Uh, yeah, it's, that it's movie shaped movie. how I like movies. You know like, what? as I saw when I was hey, young. that movie came out around about the same time as, like, Devil's Advocate and all that Ooh. stuff came out. Yeah, like, Devil's Devil Advocate good. is, like, one of my favorite Al Pacino, Keanu Reeves movies. Like, I'm a, a, I'm a, I think I watched it with you. You took oh, me yeah. to go see it. You took me to go see it. I did. Like, like, it felt like, like, it felt like, I did. It felt like, devil, wait, wait, wait a minute, what came out first? Was it Constantine that came out first? No, or Constantine. Devil, no. Anyway, no. between Constantine, Constantine and after. Devil's Advocate, it felt like, it felt like one was the sequel to the other. It really felt like one was the sequel yeah. to the other. Hmm. Yeah, but those were some good movies. There was another one in there. I can't, a seven. Was it the that sale? Was, with Jennifer oh, Lopez? Jennifer Lopez? Yeah, the sale was good too. Yeah. Good. All yeah. those were movies. That Constantine movie. is going to be one of my favorites though. Constantine. Yeah. Y'all know what was a trash still, movie to me. Hey, like, Constantine is DC that. though, right? Yeah, Constantine is DC. Yeah, yeah Constantine DC. But people didn't give it the love that it people didn't give it the love that it deserved back then. I love the movie and I knew who he was. Yeah, then. yeah, I like the movie. But now, yeah. but, now, but, now, but now people are wanting Keanu to come back and play the character. And it's like exactly y'all should, y'all should have about ten years before y'all really even gave it a chance. It's like like nah. really, but but then like back then, like people didn't know Constantine was supposed to have a British accent. So now it only makes sense. Like he'd been portrayed with having a British accent. 
So if you was to make a new Constantine movie or TV show, like he gotta have a British accent. Yeah, no. well you have well you have what you call it no. from um what you call it the did no. the the original show. They doing all these timelines. Yeah. I mean there's the loophole right there. Fifty two different Earths. Yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> <laughs> they can do pretty much what you want to I'm just trying to get me. I'm just trying to get me a a, a a Michael Keaton Batman shirt, like oh, and the movie out. poster. You, you know, merch they is on sale now, right? They already sell the merch already. Oh, yeah. they, it's already coming out. <laughs> yeah, they they just said screw it, we doing merch now. We don't even. <laughs> it, it, it's a rumor. We still doing merch. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man, DC Universe yeah, wanna... is a uh, DC Universe is uh, being converted into a comic book service. Uh, starting twenty twenty one will be called DC Universe Infinite. Uh, same pricing structure as DC Universe because when HBO Max came out, they literally cannibalized their their service. Man, that's what I said. I was like, based on what they said about it being like, oh, this is gonna be for the comic book fans, blah blah blah. It's like, and guess uh, what? Because I'm with AT and T, bang bang, I get HBO Max for free. <laughs> bang bang. Comes with my cellular plan. How many de- uh, how many devices? Doesn't say. Oh well, you hmm. need to feed us then. HBO feed Max them. isn't even on Fire Stick yet. HBO yeah. Max basically is just on mobile. I think I don't think it's on um Let like me know. Fire Stick or Roku, Roku or it anything is. yet. It is on. It's on Roku. Let me know. Yeah. But um, but yeah, so they they've literally cannibalized their service. Uh, they've kind of like the people who are um, DC Universe subscribers. They are like letting them. They can pay like an additional five bucks uh, for a special amount of time to get HBO Max to get those shows that they were getting. Of course, like Doom Patrol, uh, Titan Season Three, the Harley Quinn show, which are like some of the standout shows from. From that service, um, gotta say, Harley Quinn show was a dope ass show. Oh, that show was hilarious, dude! Freaking hilarious. Like, I'm surprised I ain't hear more people talking about it. Nah, people do. I know they people. they had an uproar about it not being announced. Even though they I'm had glad. some damn off care off brand villain called Kite Man, like I think they made him up for the sake of just making the trash ass. Bro, character. let me tell you about Kite Man, but, bro. Let me tell you about Kite Man. <laughs> Kite Man is a Batman villain, first of all. <laughs> And he gave this boy a hell of a time in the comic books, surprisingly. I mean, he's right up there with Polka Dot Man from Ooh. Suicide Squad, so yeah. <laughs> they got some weird villains in DC. Like, is Color Kid a, a villain? They. What movie? Oh, that was Lego Batman that they went. He was like saying all the weird villains. <laughs> and <laughs> he was like, if you don't believe me, look it up. And I'm like. <laughs> Hey man, Marvel got, Squir- Marvel, got Squirrel- Marvel got Squirrel Girl. Marvel got Marvel got Squirrel Girl, and she's fought yeah. Galactus, and she gave this fool freaking what is it, uh, pine nuts or whatever to feed Galactus. So go figure. I was reading an article on, on Color Kid, girl. and they said that Just he can like beat I Superman. Know, po- polka dot man, who can okay. or kite Color man. Kid. They said Color Kid can beat Superman because he can change any color. So he can change the color of because the different colors of kryptonite that do different have a different effects on Superman. Mm. So he can take any kryptonite and change it to a color, and it affects Superman differently. Yeah, so yeah, if it's a if his power if his power if if Color Kid if his power is magic versus him being a meta if it's magic then yeah he can, he can do some damage because Superman is. He's not invulnerable to magic. That's the one. That's his one weakness. Mm-hmm. So if it's so, magic, then that's yeah, why yeah. Mitzel. How you say his name? Mitzel Plixel. Like what? How you oh, say oh, his I know you talking name? about. Uh, I know you talking about. He he's been on Supergirl like three times Sound already. Sound good. I didn't even hear how you say it. Though. I didn't even say it. I, I was just yeah, I, I know he's been on Supergirl. Like I actually got into Supergirl, and then like I was just like, yeah, any Superman, like when they. They, when they brought out Malnutrition Superman and said they was going to do a show about him, I was like, yeah, that's not going to work for me. Just do Dean Kane or something like that. No more, you know. 
bring back, you know, uh, Smallville super. Tom Welling, Tom Welling don't want the smoke, bro. Tom Welling don't want the smoke. They don't try to get well, him the smoke several times. <laughs> Challenger enters the ring. Like, no, no. but malnutrition, <laughs> man, is not going to work for me. So, what up, like what up, back, man, I, I, I'm, What's up, Snap? So quick what question up, about so quick question about that now. Okay, so this is something I, I meant to bring up um, on an ep, on one of the shows. Uh, twenty twenty, fall twenty twenty to be exact. A lot of the like, especially like comic book shows, CW shows is a great example. They're not coming to twenty twenty one. What yeah, the hell? Like what black, the black, what black. the what the hell is the fall gonna look like? Are we getting just no new shows? There's no fall premiere for nothing. Like, like, unless it's like the dancing celebrity show that that lasts like three hours, but I'm not watching that. (laughs) How did that happen? It's like, like, how the hell did dancing with stars happen? Because there's no, there's no, there's no people, there's no people in the crowd. They have, uh, they have audio track. My wife was watching. I'm like, I was looking over her shoulder. I'm like, where the audience? I was like, oh, live audio track. And this, people were saying we have finally entered into the Black Mirror phase of 2020. You know what, Gloria? You're right. Think about it. Right. The second episode on Black Mirror. That's what we have entered into. I've never seen it. What you have to enlighten me? Okay. Um, Upside down. There's a reference everybody should know. A world in which everything is literally it's like scenario based like one episode um actually i think china had followed suit on it china had followed suit on this uh it was what was it it was uh it was an episode of black mirror was it the second ever uh episode of Rario? I china had the followed suit. well hold on black mirror don't ever go in order that's one that's one thing for those who's never watched black mirror before you can watch it it does not go in the order that you it's see like, it in like, like the twilight zone each yes. each episode is independent of each other yes so you know it's not a series show shows like yeah that. yeah so each episode is like a movie basically right it, it threw me literally threw me off oh, when they did that that's something i may have to check out oh so, i i tell you what uh, uh tink I, I can't wait for you to see the first episode shut up shut up Shut up. I, I definitely can't wait for you to watch the first episode. You didn't watch the first episode, so what you... Oh, but what episode, what episode? Me, I know what happened. What, what episode are we talking about? Just give and it like I... a... <clears throat> Okay. Just know. Just we, know. We, we pro- talking... tell people to go watch watch this show. We tell people to go watch Black Mirror, but just know that the first <laughs> episode is not about... for the fainting heart. We talking about the one with the uh the guy that's like the the vice president and the queen and yeah and they tell him he has to go uh yeah yeah okay okay, yeah. okay. all I have to say is I have to say this oink oink, oink. oink. bacon <laughs> oink. 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 all I have to say is oink oink I don't want bacon oh, for a whole hey, year uh, now oh, thanks I'm, I'm, you just ruined I'm, bacon for me when you watch the when you watch the show uh the episode of think. Eat a Kevin uh, Bacon Burger. A Kevin Bacon Burger? Oh, Seriously? Just stop. Stop. Oh, You're doing too oh, much. Oh, You're doing oh, too much. It's, it's so it must, come, no, with, no, it must right. come with Footloose Fries. Oh, it comes with Footloose nah. Fries. What did I, what did I walk into? <laughs> I, I, I think that's what it is. Because you're the one that wanted one, actually. Let's just go to, so. the, next, uh, let's go to the next topic. <laughs> Going down the hole here. Kevin Bacon Burger. <laughs> What are we talking about here? Stop saying bacon. Stop saying bacon. Get a Kevin Bacon burger. What is going on? And um, what was the other movie? (laughs) A Kevin burger with um, Footloose fries and um, um, what was the movie with um, Jack Nicholas and uh, oh, and a few good men milkshake. A few good men milkshake. (laughs) It's like the movie Burger Drive in with the hell. Shout out to Hazo for that uh for that mint, for that menu item by the way because they the one who has it. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, but yeah, man. So back to DC Universe real quick before we move on. Like, but but yeah, they pretty much cannibalized their their services. Uh, into HBO Max. Um, I have a feeling that a lot of people that were like really like die hard for the service is probably you know, I would just it was just a matter of time honestly because. 
I said what I said about HBO Max, and I just felt it was a matter of time for it to happen, for them to take those shows and throw them on Max permanently, and not share it. Oh, and they on HBO Max they do have all all Adult Swim shows from the beginning of Adult Swim, like <laughs> Harvey Birdman, which was like the Space Goes Coast to Coast, which Space Goes Space Goes Coast to Coast. Is uh diving in the rough. Like you got to go and watch that to appreciate it. Oh yeah, I watch. I used to watch Space Ghost late at night, bro, all the time. Oh yeah, that's that's a, that's a gem. Right, yeah. Classic man. Uh, let's see. We got uh One Division. So One Division is coming to Disney Plus very soon. Uh, what else we got on this? I saw there's a trailer out now. Supposedly, I just saw that before we started. Yeah, they posted a new trailer. Um, tonight was the grand. Was it the not the Grammys, but what was Emmys, Emmys? tonight? And yeah. they posted it. Yeah. Oh, me, me and Royalty got a a thing about award shows. So. <laughs> oh so, yeah, yeah. They already have their mind. Especially when it comes to music. So. Uh, Grammys. Yeah, I've heard about that story this week. Yeah, all of those are. <laughs> People peeing on uh, Grammys. Oh, that dude. That dude. That dude. Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> Where they do that at? <laughs> yeah, that's your boy Kanye Tudor. That's Kanye Tudor. Slash Kardashian. Like, please just give us back backpack Kanye. That's all we ask for. Give us back backpack Kanye. Never. Happened. Give us Teddy Bear Kanye back. We ain't gonna see that again. This is graduation. No, mm-hmm. I don't. That ain't gonna happen. Hang that dream like, up, brother. We get midlife crisis me coming right now. Now you got a billionaire. I want to liberate people, but I'm also a narcissist, Kanye. Uh, yeah. He wants to if free you... his people. He wants to be us to be financially sound and free and independent and and be owners. But well, he's he living in lives... Montana in a hood in a mud hood. Well, he's buying up land, but the thing is, he's delusional <laughs> about it. You know. <laughs> So well, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, you're never Montana. you're never getting back back Kanye back. Just to clear that up. Who lives in Montana? Kanye and, <laughs> and all of his in and all of his <laughs> in Kanye. I'm not building the Winter Soldier. Own city. Kanye and wild horses. Falcon and the Winter Soldier got leaked on TikTok, uh, right. and this confirms that the uh, the show I mean, the show is back into production. Let's just hope nobody catches COVID nineteen on the freaking production crew. Good. Yeah. When I sent y'all when I sent y'all that video, I'm like, what is this? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, they gonna I hope this, everybody in the comment section like I hope they do, Disney do not come for this girl for leaking this video. Oh, they come. <laughs> Who are you telling? Name this shit. Yeah, they come. But for... you, don't they have to sign off for something like that? I mean, I, I know that they film in, in neighborhoods and everything, but girl was getting like actual. She better make. She better hope. She, look, she look. She better hope she ain't no well known TikToker. They gonna find her. <laughs> with ease. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of that, all the crazy stuff that's going on on net on this platform Ooh, with the ban and everything. How secretive oh, they are. I would go down a rabbit hole of why TikTok was initially banned, but you know what I'm saying? We're we not care? we're not gonna talk politics on this show. We... So. I don't even I don't even look at it as a political thing. All thing I like, say is people get out and vote. Uh let's <laughs> see. <laughs> so... Because somebody ain't got their priorities straight. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Where do we go? Where do we go? RTX cards. What we got on RTX cards, dope? That's- Not a damn thing because I don't have one. I can't do a review, I can't do nothing. Oh, it was so sad. Y'all hit me in the chat for what, like a day and a half. That's because I was depressed. <laughs> I was boy, damn depressed. <laughs> my boy hit me up. He was like, hey, man, did y'all got it? I'm like, bro, we ain't even getting none. <laughs> I was like, I need that. I was scratching. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> hey, yo, it. you should have said that like smoking. Like, come on, baby. He said, he said, what's up with RTX cars? You should have been like, not a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> not a damn thing, man. So, okay. So, here's the deal. Okay. So, 
I uh I was like I was hyped, you know, I was you know, I was off and everything and so I I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get up early. I was on all the sites, uh what's in stock.net or now in stock.net and all this stuff. So I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. Put my I put my credit card information in bestbuy.com. I'm like, yes, I'm ready, had on a sweatband, headband. Uh, you know, I was in front oh, of the boy, computer. Was it Derek Fisher mode? I had, yeah, was I, was Derek, I was Derek Fisher playoff mode for sure for these cards, right? And then they came through like back boards and stuff. Yeah, hold on, <laughs> hold on. I had a, I had a big, I had the big can of Monster Crack. I'm talking about crack up. You seen the smoke come out that bad boy? I was like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm about to hit. I'm about to hit by now. Are you serious? Let's go. I'm talking about as I got it in my cart. As soon as I click confirm and pay, it was gone. The bots just took them. I'm talking about they went live at 6 a.m. Uh, Pacific time and six about 6 a.m. and oh, oh one second they was gone. I we don't know. Nobody know me. No, no, no one know. What I'm happened? Doing, you know what that's called? That's called slow th- on the trigger. That you no, that's the. That was them bots, man. Them bots really got everybody. And they, you know, so Jensen uh, released a statement and he was like, uh, we apologize or whatever he said, and they're going to release more. Um, But sure. I'm not going to get on the <laughs> PS5 just yet, but these um, these releases, they were they were horrible. And, you know, the, the, the part about it is they said, well, you know, we, we did everything we could. Anytime you ordered from either Best Buy or GameStop or Nvidia's website. If you click by, there was no caption. There was no "Are you human?" There was none of that, and that needed to be in place to give people. And then you look, turn around, and you look on eBay, and they on they double the prices. Like, you know, oh, this you need to put a caption in place, or you know, to say, "Hey, are you human?" So to con- try to combat the bots, and they didn't do any of that. So you What's know, the other place like it's. I used to buy my. Uh, I bought a Raspberry Pi from that place in Houston. Um, Michael, damn, oh, 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 and let me tell. Oh, I didn't even finish my story. Hold on. So, bam, right? I I didn't get the card. I'm like, all right, whatever. I got one last shot. Drive down the Micro Center. You know, I'm I'm speed demon on the freeway. I get there. It's already lined the campus. I'm like, oh fuck. So I'm, you know, I had a I had a, a chair in the back of my Jeep. You know, I'm like, all right, let me get my chair. Got my monster still cracked from this morning. You know, I put my monster out. The dude was like, yeah, man, they already gave... They got 13 cards. The dude was like, yeah, they already gave uh, the dude... They already gave the dudes their vouchers. They was out there... Micro Center didn't open till 10 a.m. They was out there at 8. I said, how did they get vouchers? They was like, they came at 5 something last... 5.45 last night. I'm like, how was that a thing? You know what I mean? So... And that's what I hit. That's what I hit you up, Dad. And I was like, man, what's up, man? You got a car, baby? What's up? You got one. Just one. He was like, nah, bro, we didn't even get nothing in. So I'm like, oh, man, I felt defeated. You know, I was just like, I was so, de- I was, I was so hurt that day. My boy sounded like money making Mitch off of paid in full. I need these bricks, Ace. I need, I need these bricks. <laughs> and I was coming off of the defeat the day before with the PS5. I literally, after the showcase, I don't mean to jump into the next topic, but I got to talk about this and get this off my chest, okay? So y'all just got to hear me. So I literally called at 3.45 p.m. that day. I say, hey, when is the PS5 going on pre-order? The girl at GameStop, I don't know. So I'm chilling, you know, on the couch scratching my ass. And I look on Twitter and somebody said, yes, yeah, secured the bag, PS5. He put his little $50 down. So I hop up, right? I hop up. I'm like, oh, I got to get down to GameStop. I get down. It was like six, maybe. Sold out. I'm like, oh, God. I'm I'm all on uh the GameStop website in the in the parking lot. They talking about you're blocked, like I like like I'm one of the the bots, like you know what I mean. How you gonna block me? You know what I mean. And so I went on tw- uh, man, I went on Walmart. I went on Target. It was too late. I spent the rest of that night clicking refresh on Best Buy, hoping something happened, and it did. It just didn't happen. So a- as salty as I was, I went on eBay that night. I was reporting all the all the uh, posts that I could, right? I reported them as fraudulent. <laughs> I wasted people's time. Not only did I go on eBay, I went on OfferUp. I went on Facebook Market, right? I went on Mercari. Oh, Anywhere man. you sell stuff, and I reported every post that somebody tried to double up that price. I was that petty. 
My oh, dude, man. you are not salty. <laughs> you have now. You are now an official member of the players' haters. Bro, you I was your voucher to the player hater. Ball. Bro, we can get into what what Dude, eBay. Said. Not, I, I, I tweeted at Johnson. eBay. I, Gavin, I'll let you take over if you want to get into what what happened with eBay. Bro, I got you bug nasty. Statement. You bug nasty at the player haters ball. <laughs> God damn it! Wow. I was mad. Do you understand how you don't understand how mad I was? Wow. You understand? How, yes. I don't know if you want to get into what he said that that with a smile like this. Yeah, I was heated, bro. Because it's not yeah, fair. And... <laughs> it's not fair. Oh, yeah, man. Bro, we can get into the, let's get into the uh, the whole PS5 showcase, man. Um, we hold, have up, a lot hold, of... up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What's up? Now, I've been reading manga. It dropped on the 18 Dragon Ball Super manga. Mm-hmm. So, Goku has finally reached perfect Ultra Instinct. So, Ultra Instinct has been imperfect for Goku, such as now. Now, Goku is perfect Ultra Instinct. He basically God tier action. God tier. So, he's stronger than Beerus. You've been keeping up with the manga. You know, he's been fighting Moro. This dude got Moro begging for his life. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Things of this nature. I don't want to give it away, but it's two things. If you watch Battle, if you watch uh, Resurrection of Frieza, you pretty much know how Goku is. If somebody begging for their life, they pretty much don't. He pretty much don't kill them. He let them go. Got a feeling, you know, Beerus at the end of the manga, he was like, he got a bad feeling about this. And the manga end. But I got a feeling when my boy Goku snatched off his the rest of his uniform saying, I'm going to finish this battle as an earthling. I got a feeling Goku to learn from his mistakes. And he pretty much finna go ahead and give Moro this L. This grade A capital L. Because I've never seen Goku look at somebody who begging for their life and, you know, never, you know, let them make... I mean, and 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 not let them make it. I got a feeling he ain't gonna let Mel- Moro make it this go round. So I gotta wait till October twentieth before I know the results. But I got a feeling Goku ain't gonna let him make it. I think we finna see Goku just really get to this point where he like he didn't took that fucking pill and was just like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and kill you, cause he asked Jocko. What he on death row? Mm-hmm. And when Goku, I mean, when Jocko said, "Yeah," Goku snatched off this the Galactic Patrol symbol, and he was like, "Well, I'm gonna finish this as an Earthler." So, like, if you've been keeping up with the manga, you know what that's about. Like, yeah. I think we finna see Goku finally get to the point where he like, "Yo, I'm gonna go ahead and kill this cat because I ain't got time for." All the extra hoopla that's gonna come behind it if I exactly. let him live. Him trying to come back mm. and stuff, yeah. That's, that's... And then Bar and, and Baruto, Baruto, like it's this scene where Baruto transport him Sasuke and um the guy they fighting to another location, and Naruto is asking like, why you do that? And they show a scene where Naruto looking over his shoulder and Baruto is just like, I just acted. I did what I felt like. I didn't want him to destroy the village, so I just did it. And Naruto, you see how mature Naruto is at this moment. He look over his shoulder at Baruto. He was like, I guess you got that act first, think later um, part of you from me. And if you think about it, the whole, if you ever... Tinkin Tinkin vouch for this. If you ever watch Naruto from Naruto the Shippuden, like Naruto was act first, think later. And you know, you see how you see the growth of uh, Naruto as becoming Hokage, how mature he's gotten. Because you think about it, Naruto was always act first, then think about the consequences of your actions later. As long as the result came out the way he wanted. They so different but so alike, it's crazy. It's it's insane how they really. But wrote yeah, at the end of case. it, at the end of the uh, of this uh, this issue of the manga, um, 
the guy that's I, I think his name is Ashiki or something like that. He was about to kill Sasuke and Baruto like covered Sasuke. And he asked him, he was like, Why did you hesitate? Why didn't you kill me and Sasuke? And um the guy didn't say anything. And Baruto was like, As I thought, you can't kill me. And that's when the manga ended. So we about to see Baruto turn up. We about to see Goku turn up. And then I'm I'm catching I've been watching um high school the god of high school and the main character in the god of high school he basically got god on his side so you know like he got the spirit of god in him like like anime is turning up right now so like if you're <laughs> an anime fan i don't want to get away give away nothing because i know a lot of people got to catch up but if you're an anime fan go check out some of these titles like god of high school Dragon Ball Super Manga, Baruto Manga, um, Decadence Manga, all that. Go check those episodes out and catch up from season one on through, and you won't be disappointed. Okay. All right, Rose, my kid just got me. Five. My kid just got me into Dango Ropa, I think it's called, but it's about these high schoolers that get locked up in this high school and it's. This panda trying to kill him, but they either mm. have to kill a classmate to like go to the next level and survive, or they all get killed. It sounds like some so, battle royale stuff. Yeah. For real. <laughs> so it's really. I might good. check that out. Yeah, it's Dango Ropa, I think. But the episodes are so interesting. You have to figure out who killed who. And they all like have like a little jury like meeting. Mm. And... Oh, so it's like a like a mystery, like the mystery yeah, game it's like, that we used to play. Like, like who's clue. the murderer? Yeah, like clue mixed with anime. Mm. It's crazy, but it's good. okay. Interesting, interesting. Uh, all right, man. So we had the PS Five showcase yes, on uh, on Wednesday, and so we talked about this on issue one fifty two of Nerfo. We were hoping, you know. You know, at this point, it was, it's been so long in the game of us getting information we need to get from from Sony about the PS5 and from Xbox and all that good stuff, man. Um, so we finally got pricing, finally got a release date. So price points, uh, as it stands, if you just don't freaking know, I'm pretty sure most everybody knows at this point. Uh, PS5 digital is three ninety nine, and the uh, the disc version is uh, what four ninety nine. <clears throat> So, yeah. And the release date will be November 12th, which is literally two days after the Xbox Series S and X are launched. So two days before my birthday. So uh I will post my cash app somewhere in the community. So y'all feel free to cash app your boy. <laughs> hey, my birthday is November twenty fifth. I will post my cash app, but I don't like begging. I feel like this begging no offense. My birthday shit. But my birthday really? is November 25th. I'm a Sagittarius. I like long walks on the beach. You know what I'm saying? I like picnics on the park. <laughs> <laughs> but you still ain't show them how your you ain't show them how your uh your hurricane gonna come through though. You gotta show them that first. <laughs> hey, hey, when Hurricane Queen come through, it's gonna be like it's gonna be like a wing Gundam in that joint. Oh, we just, we just <laughs> somehow that come hurricane down gonna come with through. They're gonna be like, Ooh, Queen, look at them. Queen be tearing it up, girl. That's how that's how one Gundam exactly. reference for the issue of Nerfo podcast. We get one every episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but nah, uh, no, but yeah. So yeah, so November twelfth though. Yeah, so uh, I mean, that's a lot of games announced. We got a little bit more look into the uh, into Miles Morales, which really, like, I gotta say. After seeing that gameplay, I was sold, but like now, I, like I just gotta have it now because because yeah. the like crispiness my, it's crispy. Like my cousin Angry B guy said, they went so deep into detail they gave Miles nappy hair, like real <laughs> talk. So much nappy, like it just looked it just looked black. His hair, yeah. He, he, the, the texture, texture, the texture, the texture, texture is there. perfect, bro. Yeah. He, had, he had on. Tims. I was like, he had on Tim's, <laughs> <laughs> right. Now I will say this though, I didn't like. I didn't like the opening. If that ain't New York, I don't know what is. 
I don't like the opening scene where he was saving a bridge. I mean, that's literally what we saw in Avengers. Yeah. Show me something else. You yes, know what I mean? Yes, I yes, gotta yes. be. I gotta be. You know. Marvel uh, has been known for their bridges and trains. I know it's just Basically. always a bridge or a train. That's gonna get him in trouble one day because he ain't gonna be able to save everybody. But anyway, I mean, you think about it. You either got three things that can cause cataclysmic danger. Awesome. You either in in New York City, you either gonna save a bad. building from collapsing, a bridge from collapsing, or a train from wrecking. Like that's just New York, bro. <laughs> I just, I just, the, like, this no, opening scene of Avengers no and this scene just, yeah, it was like, all right. You know, I, I, I you know but right. it was awesome, Tank. You're right. It was awesome. I'm not taking anything away from its awesomeness. It's just, let's do something else. Like the, I just like, thought that was like a ha ha. Yeah. But my thing is, like, what? He gonna stop a tsunami with spider webs? He gonna that stop is, a meeting? That, now, that, now that would be, I'd pay good money to see that. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> you stop the water with his webs. Yes, sign me oh. up. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but yeah, yes. man, so like the so like the whole mood for the Miles Morales. I mean, I don't know who does it or who's in charge of it, but like Spider Verse, the music, the mood, it just sets it. This game, the music that was playing during the fight scene, it just. Uh. <laughs> But my so thing is, bro, like, I just felt like watching that podcast, I felt like JC and mm-hmm. and Alicia Keys should have been playing in the background because it was just too New York for me, bro. Mm-hmm. It was just too New York for me, I bro. Could, Empire State like, of Mind would have literally taken me out of I just feel like JC and Alicia Keys should have been, <laughs> Empire State should have been playing in the background. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. I like Alicia, but no, nah, not this time. Um, but no, nah, man, like every it's the things I didn't think about when watching that watching the fight scenes was like the electric powers, the invisibility. I was like, oh, I forgot about that. That's a whole new realm yeah. of play than just webs and being acro- acrobats and stuff like that. So that's like a whole nother whole nother thing. Now, what was that? What was that contraption they had? Was that like a bomb that Taskmaster had in Avengers? Was that the same thing? Uh, it was like something on the bridge they had on a truck, and it looked like one of those. What do they call it? A sonic bomb? It was something. It like looked that. like the, I know it looked the same. That's the uh, the character is the tinkerer, but that tinkerer looked way different from the tinkerer that I know of. I'll tell you that much. So that's you know. I'm yeah. telling you, bro. Like for real. That tinkerer that was awesome. But I'm gonna tell you what I was impressed by. <laughs> I really was impressed by Final Fantasy 16. Yeah. Like. That trailer impressed me. There was some Miles uproar. Around. That was, that was, that was, that was, also, that was some uproar about like, the Final Fantasy a little bit, though. I mean, I like how I felt about, like how I felt about Gotham Knights is how I felt about God. I mean, Final Fantasy sixteen. But I'm ready. Like I'm dubbing this Final Fantasy seven remake next episode that's chapter two, and I was um, talking about it with my my uh, friend Kenny. And we feel like you're gonna be able to play with Zach also because if you beat Final Fantasy VII Remake at the end, you know they saw they show Zach in an alternate dimension where Zach survives and he carrying Cloud. And we actually feel like like me and mm. Kenny feel like you're gonna be able to play with Zach, which you weren't able to play with Zach in Final Fantasy Seven, the original, or in the remake, but we feel like in chapter two, you're gonna be able to play with Zach in one dimension and Cloud in another dimension, and eventually those dimensions gonna converge and become one. Like that's what we're feeling like was gonna happen, where Zach and Cloud gonna end up the the Cloud you playing in with in one dimension and the Zach that was in the other dimension gonna end up meeting because of all the whispers you hear during the game. Like, I really don't know how many of y'all played Final Fantasy VII Remake or have beat it, but um, Sephiroth make reference to a lot of different stuff when you fight him in the final version. So, like, um, I got a feeling this next chapter of Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be really interesting. Yeah. Um... PS5, that's gonna be later down the line though. <clears throat> to to yeah. get into that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot. Yeah, a lot of these. So I mean, of... I think he's gonna draw spring. I think he's gonna draw spring of 2021, 
which hints like a lot of the games I want to play ain't dropping till like the spring of 2021. Hence why I say I'm not getting the PlayStation 5 until yeah. like 2021. Yeah. I ain't trying to deal with the hoopla of what dope went through of uh, <laughs> getting denied because I'm in, I am I get in terrorist oh, mode and want to blow up all oh, retail <laughs> stores and this... everything like that. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> definitely hurt. Chaos yeah. everywhere. But oh. I will say I did get well, I got a pre-order for a 3080 card, so okay. I did get the card. It's just once they once they get them back in stock, they're gonna go ahead and ship ship it to me. I don't know when that's gonna be. They didn't say, but I have it uh, you paid get for. Card it. In yeah, I get it in mid 2021 sometimes. <laughs> yeah, uh, I say 2022. So I, well, you know what? Oh, I don't you don't you curse me like that, sir? Okay. <laughs> don't you put that bad juju on me? Don't uh, put that bad juju on me now. God dang don't it. you put that on me, Ricky Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, man. So what else came out of the showcase was we have so we so they announced uh, an addition to PlayStation Plus is how the trailer started. I know for me when I was watching, I'm like, okay, this is probably PS now being added to counteract Game Pass. No. It is called the PlayStation Plus Collection. It will include uh, 18 games. Uh, I'll do a rundown of the list real quick of the games that will be included. It'll be God of War, uh, Bloodborne, Monster Hunter World, Final Fantasy 15, uh, Fallout 4, Mortal Kombat X, Uncharted 4, Ratchet and Clank, Days Gone, Until Dawn, Detroit Become Human, Battlefield 1, Infamous Second Son, Batman Arkham Knight, The Last Guardian, Last of Us Remastered, Persona 5, and Resident Evil Biohazard. And that's a... All man, right, that's a let me stack, speak all about Batman Arkham Knight. PlayStation Plus has already given you all the Batman Arkham games. They've free. given you a lot of these games for free. To, to be to be honest, like they have... they now That was kind of like my argument. Now, are, they up, are they upscaling these to, to accommodate the new hardware? Possibly, probably. probably. Now, if that's the case, then I can, you know... Because if I can pay, if I can play The Last of Us remastered 4K 60, remastered I'll be for the second you know, time. <laughs> because well, because on the play on the PS4 Pro when they remastered it, it was either I think 4K 30 or somewhere close to check uh, checkerboard in 4K 30, or, or it was 1080p 60. But if I can play it in a true 4K 60, I'll be I'll be happy. I'll be down with that. Then they'll be like Last of Us coming to PC. Be like, what the hell? I know, right? I mean, <laughs> well, I that'll be the dream. I got Borderlands 3 and a couple of, I think I got Star Wars, Battlefront 2 for free, Borderlands 3 for free, Tomb Raider for free, which I forgot which Tomb Raider it was for free. I, think it's like, I got a lot of games off PS um, Plus for free that I haven't even played yet. Yeah, so, I got like, a if they're going to give money. like all those games away for free, like, I mean, I mean the... I'm at the point now where I'm just deleting stuff just to get my free games because, like, I'm not putting anything on my PlayStation. I got it on my external, and I got, like, a two-terabyte external hard drive. So I got a feeling, like, when it comes to the PS5, I might have to just go ahead and upgrade. If they allow external hard drives like they, they're doing now, they're supposed... I may have no. to upgrade to, like, a four-terabyte. No, you just store can... the game on there, but you can't pull you can't play from there just because of how the technology of the system works it won't let you pull from the hard drive you can store the games there but you're not going to be able to like oh let me boot up such and such from my hard drive you have to actually bring it onto the console okay hmm. so it's going to be like a steam thing where you can own the game but you can take it off your hard drive right until maybe you want to play it again and you can reinstall it later but you still own it it's just you have to pull it from the cloud See, that's the or thing about, that's, that's the thing about um, with PlayStation. With we've had five, six showcases. There's some stuff that's still left to the under to to not. Uh, they haven't explained about how certain yeah. things work. Accessories, for an example, the question with NVM and having an external hard. There's a lot of question they haven't really answered, and that's going to be. And the part of it is, it's going to be a backlash of trial and error, and then person. Has PS5 gets pissed off, go to Twitter and get mad and, and cause an uprising and trend because this don't work or this doesn't, this thing is not here. 
because you didn't communicate it. So that's that's kind of like one he, thing I got. Right. So I mean, one thing they did say about that Miles Morales game, though, right, is it's not going to be a thing where it's like, oh, I'm 4K60. 4K60 is going to be in performance mode. So what that means is they're going to strip down all of the beauty of the game, pretty much. Pretty so much, you're gonna get yeah. you're gonna get that high resolution and that frame rate you want, but you're not gonna have that detail with the foliage and the little details in the building. You know what I mean? So that's right, kind of the right. drawback. Now you will have it to where the game itself runs seamlessly, where you're not when you die, you're not you load right back into the stage, or uh, you can load into a city from a cutscene, and you don't have to go to the loading screen. Allegedly, that's what they're claiming, but. If you you know it's still going to be either a performance mode or a uh a, you know or a looks mode where it's like everything looks good so you're it's still gonna getting drawbacks. back it's gonna be stripped down one way or another it's gonna be stripped down but I mean it is what it is I'm here for the exclusive so I will be copying that honestly the I mean, the, like, the one I'm excited crazy. about is Ratchet and Clank the most I know kill me but I yeah. want to play that the most yeah I'm Ratchet and Clank I yeah. mean like the, just just being honest about it. Like since the PlayStation 3, it's been the second generation of each one of those consoles. The second generation PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 4, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the second generation PlayStation 5 that works out all the kinks that gives you the peak performance. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna. I don't. I don't know if they're gonna do the same thing that they did this generation, which, you know, we had the regular PS4 and then we got the Pro. Because from the tech industry was trying to, I think the tech industry was trying to push the gaming industry into cell phone territory, which these low grade version, high grade version, and I don't think the gamers really, gamers just really just like, man, just give me the best I can get and just tell me the price and we'll just figure it out. Cause, right. And you got something that are brand loyal, you know? Yeah. And the perfect example, the perfect example of that is Madden on console versus Madden on cell phone. Oh, see. Oh, like, Madden on cell phone may look good for it to be on the cell phone, but Madden on cell phone is not Madden on console. Don't even get your damn hopes up. It's stripped down, no. it's stripped down completely. Trend, trend, trend yeah. Like, or maybe, maybe Fortnite is good on because I had Fortnite because it was pretty much kind of like free if you had a Samsung at that point in time. But um, like so I had a the, note. They're getting, getting the, they're getting the engine change like coming to the five. They're getting they're going generation. to Unreal Engine. Yeah, I mean, but it looked good. Like Fortnite basically looked like how it looked on the phone, how it looked on console, and operated basically the same. But like other games, I don't feel like they're gonna operate the same as they do on console as they do on the phone. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let me cover this controversy really quickly. I know yeah. we let's, you know, let's talk about sure let's, talk, let's let's talk about the pre-orders. So, and I, you know, to revert back to what I was saying earlier, you know, I was butthurt about the RTX 30 cards, and I was coming off of that that L for for the PS5. So. I, you know, so y'all already know what happened to me. Um, Sony messed up that 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 pre-order launch. Sony messed that up, and and the retailers were greedy. Yeah, they were like, Sony okay, Sony pretty much put the cap on the shits. Like I really feel like the only way 2020 can get worse, which I'm not gonna even get into, but I got a feeling like that's the thing I got in my mind is what's gonna make 2020 worse. But like. PlayStation and Xbox launches for pre-orders just added to the shitstorm of what 2020 is. Like, Kobe dying kicked off 2020 being a shitstorm. So, so what I, so you guys know just, earlier what I... Like, the, like, Kobe was the first domino and it just kept falling from then so, on. So like, let me, it just, it just, like, hasn't stopped falling since. So let me, me let me right. let me say something real quick. Let me let me tell you what Walmart put. This is on the day of the of the of the showcase. Walmart says, "Make you wait to get the new PlayStation Five?" Question mark. Nah, that's not like us. Go pre-order it now. 
See, and that's the thing. It's like, <laughs> and, then, and you know, you know, the messed up thing about it. This is the thing that kills me. Everybody's like, get signed up with your email, or notify, get notified, get notified, get notified. Never got notified. I'll sign up with everything. Notify me everywhere. A PlayStation did well. They didn't select me for any. I don't know if anybody got selected for like the pre-order, oh, no. pre the pre yeah. pre-order. Like you yeah, didn't go to the Sony store. The official Sony store did not have pre-orders available. So, yeah, so ready. what I did was, so I told you I went on eBay, right? And I was like, and I started reading their their privacy po- or their uh, their policies. And basically, the policy says pre-sale listings. Must guarantee. Uh, I'm sorry. Pre-sale listings must guarantee that the item will be shipped within 30 days of purchase. So I was, you know, in my salt rage, right? I was like, hmm, got to thinking. So I'm like, if these consoles don't come out to November 12th, how can they then guarantee these scalpers that they'll deliver them or ship them within 30 days? You can't, right? You so, really can't. so I was like, I said at eBay on Twitter. If this is true and the PS5 comes out November, I put November 13th. I was I was mad and I corrected and said 12. Then all the listings on your site are in violation or am I missing something? Please explain. And I said yes, scalpers. I'm hating. And uh, but they nasty. put and they put <laughs> bug nest. They put we're taking the and I don't know if they're, they're really doing anything, but they I think to save face they have to reply. They said uh, ask eBay says uh, replying to dope, the dope gamer. Uh, we're taking the appropriate action per our pre-sale policy, and then they put the link to the policy. Thanks. As our and they put a typo. As our our trust teams are aware of. Thanks, thanks for concern, fellow gamer. And they gave me the cool guy smiley face with the glasses, and I put thank you eBay. Right, but I'm really the, the thank is really fuck. You know what I mean? Like fuck you eBay, because you know you just want the money too. You're not gonna take them listings down. I don't think you are. No, they're not. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah. eBay, eBay is just like every other company in corporate America. They're all, all right. about making their dollar. So it's they like... Damn about the consumer. And I, I'm just like, man, I really hope that they adhere to their policy. But, you know, what people started doing, they start trolling, right? They start putting fake listings or bidding up to 50K on like an NVIDIA card or, or a PlayStation, you know, pre-order. Just trying to do what they can to troll all of the uh, scalpers and stuff. So people, the the community has been trying to do its part to try to dilute some of it and make it make everybody aware. Like, hey, look, don't buy a uh, don't buy one of these uh, consoles for double the price or these cards for double the price. You know, because also that's gonna that probably will determine the market value for like future cards and things like this. So, and the perfect it, example about that is. Why is a 2016 uh, Alienware laptop, which is made by Dell now, is $2,000? An Alienware laptop that was produced in 2016 priced at $2,000 now. Still. Like, I just don't understand why. That's like, like MacBook holding their value. In but, that yeah. means it's thoroughly used. Like you didn't buy that laptop and just let it sit there for from 2016 to now. I don't know, but I know in regards to this like technology, technology decreases in price. Right? This, this is this, this is a this is a this was a shit show on both Sony and Nvidia's part uh behalves. Uh, they both released statements, you know, or, uh, or apologizing, but it's like. That's not good enough, man. Y'all, y'all, are, y'all are mega companies, mega corporations. Y'all need to handle this correctly. Put captures on your websites. Well, the retailers too, right? They're responsible. Best Buy, all these guys. And I know it sounds like I'm crying, cause I am, and I don't give a damn if you think that. But uh, you just gotta make it fair for all of the consumers. That's all I'm saying. So. Yeah, I kind of, <clears throat> I kind of think that um, I don't know what makes it really so, so different now because i mean we've had access to be able to pre-order stuff online in the past iphones all that good stuff i'm just wondering the bots I, man the script this they're writing these scripts and they're getting good at them yeah no that's definitely no it's definitely that too 
I think just because people have so much, well, with this pandemic and all this good stuff, I mean, too much time on their hands. Too much, too much time on their hands. That's that's the biggest part of it. Because in a normal case like this, if those things would have been on, if those things would have went out, and let's say half of the people who are supposedly on unemployment right now, they wouldn't have probably had the time to even deal with or jump online to do any of it. They'd be too tired to work. Right. Or working. So, yeah. So you know, a lot of people sitting on their butts, and you know. Because of the pandemic and stuff like that, so I think that's kind of what that's kind of what made it crazy as well. Um, Xbox did put out a statement stating that their what time their pre-orders are starting and on what sites and all this stuff. So that'll be kicking off on Tuesday. Uh, I mean, we'll see if theirs goes any better. We'll see. Oh, uh, if it goes. Do you live, think they're gonna sell out as fast though? I think so because they like the are. Xbox community is smaller than the PlayStation community. I really feel that way. I may be wrong. I predict you going to walk on to that mug. They say pre-orders like, go up at 7 a.m. You're like going to log in at 7.05. It's still going to be They'll be gone mode. by 6.30 a.m. I love my Xbox people. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're gonna, I mean, the people that I know that are Xbox fan, boy, they're going to claim that it's going to sell out. But, I mean, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I don't think the production is as high because there's some perception that, you know, they were saying, like, they're not producing – as many because they want to you know two generations ago both of these companies were burned by two different things microsoft was burned by rear ring of death which is why microsoft is wants mm. to slow down the production of their consoles because they don't want another problem like that and playstation played the played the game the way they played it purely because they didn't want another debacle of price console too high to scare people away which was a 600 hundred dollar console which is why it took them so long to come out with a price so they're both kind of like they're PTSD in right now when it comes to console business. And then <laughs> they said that PlayStation will not be backwards compatible for PlayStation Three, Two, or One game, which so, will force you to get if you want those about that anymore. Nobody cares about that. Now. So here's I don't the, I do so here's not the, care about that. So here's the loop. So here's the loophole with that, and I don't. At least I didn't think it is this way. When I saw that, I'm like, "So, bro, who's still sitting on disc?" Secondly, PS now carries all, PS PS now carries all the games from PS one, two, and three and four. So it does, just not physically. Yeah, who cares I mean, about? Like, I can't virtually. play my Metal Gear Solid one disc on a PlayStation Five. So, <laughs> I mean, me personally. I you like know. having the like. I'm one of those people that like having the you physical copy it. in my hand. Well, you, well, you know, you still you finna pop, you finna pop in metal, you finna get snake yeah, solid taken, bro, on the PS5, bro. Be real. No, you're not. You just want to say, oh, it's. I don't care about no backwards compatibility. Long as it can run these games this season or this this new next gen, that's what I want. I don't care if you can run a PS1 game. Yeah, Microsoft. I'll just go buy. I'll just go buy a PlayStation One. You can get a for less than hundred bucks. The original Final Fantasy. Bro, no. I mean, okay. So why is the original Final Fantasy seven? I don't know, but that's a classic. But I don't care if I have to. I don't care if I can play it on my my PlayStation Five. I don't. I'm sorry. Anyway, honestly, honestly, I feel like Final Fantasy seven in rent. Like one ninety nine or free. Okay. Say that again. What'd you say? That ain't what you said either. Last part. But yeah, so I mean, I feel like with the with the backwards compatibility thing, man. I mean, the games are gonna show up on store if they're gonna be a PSN game or whatever, and they'll work with the console yeah, if, they, damn, if, if they if they if they if they if they choose to want to make it work with that. But I mean, again. Microsoft brought that to the table. Remember, they did because remember they had the console that oh you want to do entertainment and you want to play with the Connect and that was a wet fart and then they just threw the Connect in the garbage and <laughs> went for back compatibility games. So I mean, they brought that. I to wonder the if basically the PlayStation Move got thrown in the garbage too. Let's just be real about it. Well, that was no, that you, was still, move you, the, you still you you can still use your Move peripherals for the. Th well, like, well, it's for the VR. No, no. Now. Yeah, you can use your move uh, sticks for the VR. So it, they they still have a, a they, use for it. Yeah, that was that was the Wii fault. That was not that was not Connect. That was all Nintendo Wii. All the casual gamers in the world. That and the Connect gamers. wasn't bad. They could have tweaked that. 
Yeah, it just you had to be in a you had to be in a goddamn closet to freaking use it though. But that's the only thing. And yeah. we're not gonna say the other thing you couldn't. <laughs> did, we, the other thing we ain't gonna say the other thing you you couldn't be that it couldn't read. But we're not gonna talk about that right now. Uh, <laughs> and don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, man, we got a brief <laughs> Nerfo podcast issue one fifty. Wait, 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 I still got, I still got one more uh topic that I wanted to bring up. What's up? Oh. Yeah, cause the left oh. side of the screen been real quiet. Kane. D- <laughs> yes, let's talk about it's Jonathan. Nice. Jonathan you Majors. You should have said that when we were talking about Marvel <laughs> stuff. But yes, let's go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to bring up about uh, how Jonathan Ma- Jonathan Majors is getting uh, King the Conqueror role in Ant Man three, mm-hmm. and I'm excited. For, I'm excited for it because we're gonna actually see like the consequences. Well, let's let's talk about King the Conqueror. We know that he's a time traveler, right? Yeah, time traveler. And um, a lot of people yeah. are a lot of people are questioning whether or not this is gonna bring in Doctor Doom, Doctor Doom in for uh you know Fantastic Four. It's well, so the rumor has it is that with him coming in, it's going to somewhat connect to the Fantastic Four and bring them in. And it could be a change of plans, just purely based off of how the change, of course, how Black Panthers has to really kind of change course on things. Because I kind of feel initially that probably should would have been the route that they were going because there was rumors that Dr. Doom was supposed to be. Uh, in the new Black Panther movie and all this other stuff. And with, in the comics, how Black Panther showed up, he fought the Fantastic Four, that type of thing. So it was kind of more leaning on that. So may have, they may have changed course now. But with Kane the Conqueror, it does make sense. Just purely off the fact that Ant-Man is, Ant-Man is played with time. And right, he can, and he can feel all of that stuff going on in, in in time when somebody's messing with time and with the Avengers going back and forth. He can feel all of that stuff. He knows he knows what they're doing. So with that being said, which like I said, it makes sense for him to to now show up now. I, I mean, be, as far I as be, I wouldn't be surprised, I wouldn't be surprised. Galactus even felt you know the stuff that went on with the snap, and that made him take notice. Oh man! Now, now if. If people been listening to Nerd Flow over the years, I've been so disappointed with the first depiction of the Galactus from the Final Fan. I mean, from the was, Fantastic Four movie. It was a clown. Like, but we figured, we figured out who, whose fault it was. We figured out. Remember, we had talked about it. Fox. Yeah. Can we, yeah, say, no. Can I we mean, say his name though? Fox is responsible for. Fox is responsible for a lot of downfalls yeah. in movies. I'm not gonna go down that list. Hence, Dragon Ball Z. You know I mean, say Dragon Ball was say Evolution. The same dude that, that was responsible the for the Deadpool mess that we got in the Wolverine movie. He responsible for that too. Yeah, I mean, Fox. Fox. I'm so glad that Disney now has the rights to a lot of stuff, but. At this moment, concerning certain things, I know Disney does not have the rights to Dragon Ball, which I wish I wish they did, because I need this live action in my life. And that Disney magic <laughs> can bring Dragon Ball to full fruition the correct way. It's just one. Of I those believe in I feel... Disney. I don't Damn know, look. man. I don't know. This is one of those things. The oh, Dragon Ball thing is just one of those things I don't feel that's ever going to happen from a live action perspective. I just feel like just Hollywood won't ever get over itself to do it correctly. That's just like, I feel the same oh, way about Street Fighter. Like, not I feel, correctly. I feel, I feel the same way about Street Fighter. I feel like they won't get over themselves with wanting to write something in different from what is truly what it's supposed to meant to be about. Like, oh, let's do this character and make them the main character. No. Does it say that they're the like, main character? No. My it thing was with New Line. New Line did Mortal Kombat right the first time. The second time, how the <laughs> hell you go and shit the brick the second time? You did it right the first time, but the second right time you're supposed to get better, not not screw the pooch the second time. Ex- executives haven't been trying to have ideas, man. Trying to do other people's job. Oh boy. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, no, Kane the Conqueror, uh, definitely, definitely makes sense as far as as a character that's gonna be coming in Ant Man. 
Uh, it's, it's definitely a formidable foe. I'm pretty sure Ant Man probably mm. going to defeat him. I have a feeling. He's it ain't going to be easy. That's for sure. No, he's he's going. This going to be a trickle down. He's not going to defeat him. That's 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 a given, bro. Yeah, that. It's something. I, it's, I know it's something I that I'm ready to see. Effect like, going down with that. I see the trickle down yeah. effect going down with it. Most definitely. Most I'm definitely. also happy. I'm also happy with the casting choice because Jonathan Mayers is really doing his thing on uh Love Lovecraft Country. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know the original um the original Thanos in the in Avengers was a black mm. guy. I can't think I can't think of the guy's name, but it, he was a, it was Dame, a black guy. Dame, was it Damien Dame uh oh, I can't remember. Yeah, they just took the I'm... they just took the likenesses because what you call it was doing it was his, it was Josh Brolin's voice, but it was his it was the other guy's likenesses that was playing the character. And so they yeah, went with, right. they went with Brolin's because he was who's the voice, they just made it more like him. I mean, because so. Brolin's voice is perfect for the character of Thanos. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So, um, all but right, man, we're gonna what's up next time on Nerd Flow Podcast? We need that, that as like a we need, we need... company Hollywood how they screw the pooch on <laughs> movies that relate to comics and anime. <laughs> Boy, that's a whole that's a Money, whole baby. Will they finally get it right? No, they would never get it right. Um, all right, man. So we're gonna bring issue 153 <laughs> to a close, man. Um Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Uh twitch.tv forward slash uh Nerflow Podcast. We're live every single Sunday at 9 30 p.m. Central Time. So check us out on next week for issue 154. We out of here. Peace. Good night. Dude.